All right, Tim. So we're just gonna have a quick look at a little uh, top control exercise you guys can do for, for back control, all right? So our partner's just gonna be in turtle. Okay. And the first thing I want you to think about is if we're in that head to head position, normally because I've sprawled or something similar, how am I gonna get around to taking their back from here, all right? So I'm gonna start off by, by using my chest to support my weight so my limbs become a little bit lighter and moving around to a side back control position, all right? So side back control is where um, some of my body's still over my partner, I'm controlling that far hip. My leg is in on the close side um, and I'm supporting a bit of weight on them, but not too much. I don't wanna be over committing so that I get rolled off or under committing so that they can move out too. All right, we're just gonna turn the angle a little bit so you can have a, another good look. So side back control position here. And, and once I've got this body position, I wanna start to establish a little bit more control from here. So some stuff that will, will help me improve this position. My knee, rather than just sitting beside my partner, I wanna slide that knee in, all right, in between their knee and their elbow. And that's gonna help me sort of break down some of their, their space and create more options to take the back. My top arm on this far side, uh, I can be starting to wing this little underhook in here, right? Starting to control that arm, maybe fight for a wrist control or a chicken wing style grip here too, okay? Once I've got this sort of control, I might even want to engage that, that other hand on the top too for my seatbelt grip. I want to start to upgrade my legs to getting the hooks in. So once I've created that bit of space, I'm then going to replace my knee with the outside knee, drive it through. My leg is gonna step over and I use my chicken wing to create some space behind the elbow to put that hook in under her legs, all right? I can then switch my side to put the second hook in, all right, and work that in here. <laughs> oh no, you flattened out. <laughs> all right, and then we can squish them and make them pay. But if your partner has a better base, so keep up a little bit higher, don't feel the splits. So we've come into this top position here, all right, I can start to add the seatbelt grip, switch my knee in, step the second leg, and either I can climb up on their back, or at this point, I can pull them back towards me to take the back control as well. It just depends which way their balance is. Right, so are they gonna go to the far side or can they tip back this way too? So let's look at that. So drill, sprawl. I start to circle. I fight for those initial control points maybe thread in the choke so they're not thinking about the position as much all right and then i'm going to upgrade turning towards them fighting for the hooks and then finishing with the choke okay let's go all the way through turtle circle fight for grips upgrade the legs hooks in attack the arms and go for the finish all right, so just a little flow drill to help you guys establish some more control from the back. Let's give that a go. Go on, squat. Circle. Upgrade your control points. One, two, good. Yep, then turn your hips in. Good. Nice. 